Hello and welcome to MediHub. I am Neha Gupta, a part of your chemistry faculty. And today we are going to talk about the effect of substituents on electrophilic substitution in derivatives of benzene. Before we get into that, let us talk about the structure of benzene and why benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions. So benzene has the molecular formula C686. Here, all the six carbon atoms form a ring and they lie in a plane. Each carbon atom here is sp2 hybridized. That means the three sp2 orbitals lie in the plane and form sigma bonds. So all these bonds are sigma bonds and the bond formed with hydrogen is also a sigma bond. This is one plane of the molecule. Imagine it like this. Now what happens is the unhybridized p orbital on carbon lies above and below the plane. That is, it lies perpendicular to the plane of the molecule. There are six pi electrons in these orbitals. These six pi electrons are free for lateral overlap with the adjacent carbon atoms. So either they can form a bond this side or this side. So what happens in benzene is that there is a delocalization of pi electrons above the plane and below the plane. So these two electron clouds make benzene electron rich. And because it is electron rich, it can easily attract an electrophile, which is an electron deficient molecule. Now, because this is electron deficient, it will seek an electron from the benzene ring and it can form a substitution product here, right? So this is the reason why benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution. Now, we need to understand the mechanism behind it because that is very important to understand what will be the effect of substituents when one group is already present on benzene. So for that, let us see the mechanism. We have benzene. The first step is attack of an electrophile on the benzene molecule, which is the slow step and the rate determining step. This leads to the formation of a sigma complex. So what happens is these two pi electrons here are shifted to one carbon where the electrophile attacks and this carbon here will have a positive charge. So we draw a positive charge here. The electrophile is attacked here. This hydrogen stays as it is and these two bonds also stay as it is. This is called a sigma complex or an iranium complex also. The second step in this mechanism is the fast step where a proton is released and we get the substituted benzene product like this. Now, the sigma complex is stabilized by resonance. It is a hybrid of three canonical structures. Let us draw these structures and understand what is happening in the sigma complex. This Hydrogen comes here, the electrophile is attacked here, the positive charge is on this carbon and these two bonds are like this. Now, how can you draw the resonance structures? This bond can move here and we can draw a positive charge on this carbon. This bond has shifted this side. These two remain as it is. This is the second structure. Now, what can happen? This bond can shift here and we will get a third structure where the positive charge comes on this carbon. The double bonds are here and the electrophile and the hydrogen stay here. So this sigma complex is a st resonating structure of, of these three structures and it is a hybrid. So that is the sigma complex is stabilized. Okay, now we need to see that there is a positive charge on the two ortho positions and the para position in the sigma complex. Okay, moving on, let me erase this for you. Now we need to see what happens when one group is already present in the benzene molecule. So when we just have benzene and one group is introduced, one product will be formed. Why? Because all the carbon atoms of benzene are the same. But when benzene already has an atom attached to it, now there are two possibilities, either it can form ortho or para isomers or it can form meta isomers. Now we need to see what is it that this group does that makes the product an ortho para derivative or a meta derivative. Now what happens is the electron displacement effects of these groups make the product either ortho para isomers or meta isomers. How will you determine if a given group is ortho and para directing? 
So for this, a simple trick is that you see the key atom that is directly attached to the benzene ring. In most of the ortho and para directing groups, this key atom contains at least one lone pair of electrons. So this lone pair of electrons can get into resonance with the rest of the benzene. Let us take the example of phenol. Oxygen atom is the key atom and it has two lone pairs of electron. What happens is these two can move here and we get a resonating structure where oxygen has a double bond and a positive charge and this carbon atom gets a negative charge. These two bonds will remain as it is. Further on, we can draw another structure where this group remains the same. This carbon gets a double bond with this one and the negative charge moves here. We can draw one more resonating structure where this moves here and this can move on to this carbon giving us another resonating structure where the double bond is here and the negative charge is here. So what do you see? You see that the two ortho positions and the one para position have a negative charge here. That means there is an increased electron density on these positions because of the plus R effect of OH group. Because of this plus R effect, the benzene nucleus becomes rich in electrons at the ortho and para positions. Hence, phenol is an ortho para directing group. Here, the electrophile can attack easily and form a bond. Now, we need to consider the minus I effect of phenol group also. Because oxygen is electronegative, phenol group has a minus I effect. That means it has an electron withdrawing effect. What happens when phenol group pulls electron from the benzene ring? The electron density on the benzene ring decreases a little. But along with that, the plus R effect is also into play. So though phenol group is ortho para directing, it is also slightly activating towards electrophilic substitution reactions. What do I mean when I say it is slightly activating? It means that the reaction is going to be faster than it is in benzene. We need to take one more example to understand this clearly. Let us take the example of chlorobenzene. In chlorobenzene, chlorine has three electron, lone pair of electrons. These lone pair, just like phenol, can engage in a plus R effect and generate negative charges at the two ortho and the one para position. Right? The resonating structures can be drawn just like phenol. Along with this, chlorine again has a minus I effect because it is electronegative. So because of this, chlorine pulls away the electrons from the benzene ring. But because of the plus R effect, the ortho and the para positions get a negative charge. So chlorine is also ortho para directing but slightly deactivating towards electrophilic substitution reactions. What happens in the case when the group does not have a lone pair of electrons? Let us take one more example to understand this better. In the case of toluene, carbon does not have a lone pair of electrons. Now, how will you determine if toluene is ortho para directing or not? Toluene has a methyl group on benzene and this methyl group has a plus I effect. What happens because of this plus I effect? For this, we need to go back to the sigma complex we spoke about during the mechanism of this reaction. For example, the electrophile attacks on the ortho position here. What will happen? The electrophile will come here. This is the hydrogen. The positive charge will come on this carbon where the toluene, in, where in toluene the methyl group is attached. Now because methyl group is a plus I group, it will donate electron density to this carbon which will lead to a delocalization of this positive charge. And when the positive charge is delocalized, this transition state, this sigma complex will be stabilized. Hence, ortho position is preferred. What will happen if we attach an electrophile to the para position now? This is toluene. The electrophile gets attached here. The positive charge will come here. Now, we can draw another resonating structure where the positive charge moves to this carbon and this double bond shifts here. This group stays as it is. Again, we get the same transition state where the positive charge is at the carbon to which the methyl group is attached. 
and now methyl group will donate some electron density to this it will delocalize the positive charge and it will stabilize this transition state such stabilized transition states will not be observed when the electrophile attacks the meta position hence toluene is also an ortho para directing groups some other ortho para directing groups are amines nh2 nhr nr2 all primary secondary and tertiary amines amide group need coch3 all halogens chlorine bromine iodine fluorine methoxy group methyl group hydroxy group etc now let us talk about some meta directing groups one thing that is common to most of the meta directing groups is that the key atom that is the atom that is directly attached to the benzene ring is an electron withdrawing group also you can see that to this key atom most of the time there is a double bond or a triple triple bond present which is in conjugation with the ring what do these do let us take an example to understand we have nitrobenzene where there is a negative charge here a positive here here so this engages in resonance with the benzene ring and pulls away electron from the ring so this has a minus r effect what does this minus r effect do let us draw the structures to understand now the double bond is going to come here oxygen oxygen this leads to generation of positive charge here these two bonds remain as it is we can draw another structure where this bond moves here and the positive charge comes on this carbon the double bonds are here and this group again stays as it is we can draw more structures where now this positive charge will come on this carbon positive here these double bonds are here this group stays as it is what do you see is happening here here the two ortho positions and the para positions are getting a positive charge because of which the electron density on these positions slightly decreases but the meta position is not getting a negative charge that means the meta position is not getting a positive charge that means the electron density is higher on the meta positions than the ortho and the para positions so there is no direct gain of electrons at the meta position but relative to the ortho and para position this has more electron density this means that nitro group is a meta directing group and the electrophile will attack to the meta position now we need to see that nitro group also has a strong minus i effect because of which it also pulls away electron from the ring that means nitro group because of its minus r and minus i effect is a deactivating group when i say deactivating group it means that the reaction is going to be slower than in benzene so nitro group is a deactivating group we can take one more example to understand this what happens in the case of trichloromethylbenzene let me draw the structure ccl3 trichloromethylbenzene is a strong minus i group and it pulls away electron density so if we draw the sigma complex when an electrophile attacks this molecule if it attacks on the ortho position here there is a positive charge here and these two bonds remain as it is what is happening that this carbon is getting a positive charge and if chcl3 is a minus i group it will pull away electrons from this carbon and further intensify the positive charge that means this transition state is destabilized because of attack at the ortho group similarly if we see when the attack is at the para position we attach the electrophile here the ccl3 group is here these two bonds are here this positive charge is on this carbon these two double bonds come here we can draw another structure where the positive charge again comes on the carbon which is directly attached to ccl3 h e and this again we get a transition state where the positive charge on this carbon is intensifying because of ccl3 group and this position is also not 
suitable for attack by an electrophile. Because of this, CCL3 is also a metadirecting group and because of its minus I effect, it is a deactivating groups towards electrophilic substitution reactions. Some other groups which are deactivating groups are, we have already spoken about NO2, CCL3, CF3, carboxylic acid group, sulfonic acid group, ester, aldehyde, uh, ketone group, COCH3, etc. All these are meta-directing groups and they deactivate the ring towards further electrophilic substitution reactions. So today we spoke about the effect of substituents in electrophilic substitution reactions in derivatives of benzene. We spoke about ortho groups and para-directing groups. We spoke about meta-directing groups and how they impact the rate of the reaction. In case you have any doubts about this, you can write us, write to us in the comment section and we will get back to you. Till then, bye-bye.